thank you so much, Bob, and, and we'll send him some uh, virtual thank yous for that. Um, so moving on swiftly, so we have a lot of lectures today, but we wanted to give a thread that runs through all the lectures. So we created a patient story to do that. So please meet Michael. He's a patient in the year uh, 2020, and he'll be man managing his medications in a digital ecosystem. He's 58. He has type 1 diabetes, has alcohol dependence, anxiety, and liver disease. So you're kind of typical patient. Um, <laughs> and he, and he's, just a, he's just about to be discharged from hospital following a short admission um, with pneumonia. Can I just remind people, this is an aspirational story we want our healthcare sector to get to. Yep. You know, this is aspirational and deliberately so, because we want to challenge all of 2020. you out there. When yep. you go back to your organizations, we need this. So, an FY2 uh, on the ward have discharged uh, Michael with a care plan together with a discharge summary. And to bring it all together, especially for the medication list, they need to combine any new medications started in the hospital, any new repeat medications uh, for the GP, and also over-the-counter medications. And then the standard thing that will happen, the hospital pharmacy will then go through this and see what Michael has, what he doesn't have, what he needs, and then dispenses the medication. And if everything goes to uh, plan, um, the pharmacies will then sit with Michael and go through all the, the medications and will explain what are you taking, why are you taking, when you are taking, and how you plan to do it. So therefore, when Michael leaves, all these new medications will be in his medication app. And it will highlight the changes that the hospital has made to it. And magically, within seconds, the GP will receive the discharge summary, see the updated medication lists, and then make the appropriate changes in the local system, in the medication, and in the problems. And back home, Michael, based on his app, will receive prompts to remind him to take the medication, and he has the opportunity to record it when he has taken it, and he also gives him the opportunity to record any concerns or questions he might have with the next healthcare professional about a particular medication. Unfortunately, uh, Michael then gets a call, so he then visits the pharmacy to see whether there's something that he can buy to alleviate his symptoms. But he doesn't know which medication is safe based on the medication he's already taking, so he goes up to the counter, uh, so he goes up to the shelf, and he can beep the medication box, which will then automatically tell him whether there's any dangerous interactions. In the end, he settles on purchasing um, a combination of codeine and paracetamol, and magically, the medication app gets updated. Thank you, Michael. So he starts taking his medication and he gets a rash. So what might he do? Well, he'll call for help and he'll call the 111 service. And beautifully, they will also have access to his medication because we're in a connected health and care system. You won't have to go through things. I've worked in 111 and it does take time when you have to ask the patient, and I'm sure many of you have accessed the service, what are you on, what's the medication? It's just minutes that are wasted. So the call handler, me, will say, please stop taking that, we probably have a problem here, and prescribe some antihistamine that's sent to the local chemist and magically also appears on his app because he needs to know what that drug is. And the call handler call books a GP appointment because that's that connected system that we also need where we have the appointment booked into the GP records. Michael visits the GP the next day and I can see his medication. That's exactly what I need. I don't have to ask Michael because Michael might have forgotten or he might even show me his app. And he might even write down what happened at the time because his memory might be a bit jaded of things. The allergy is recorded on the, on, on the GP's computer screen, which then sends it back to the app, and he also generates a prescription for some updated medications based on this discharge summary. In the week, as we do, we run out of medication, and Michael is low on medication, so he sends a repeat prescription request via his app to a local chemist, and the lovely chemist pharmacist will actually process that and tell Michael it's ready to collect now. You can turn up. Why can't he get a notification back on his app? The following week, as part of his care plan, there is a virtual consultation with the doctor on his phone. And they have a chat. How's things? All okay? Well, actually, I might need to refer you to the physio based on some of the symptoms you've said. And Michael says, 
I'm a little bit worried about the physio knowing about medication I'm on. And so there is a consultation discussion that happens. We'll talk about this, whether we should hide medications or not later on in this series of lectures. But Michael wants to hide one of his medications from the physio, and that feature does exist. And so when it's referred on to the physio, that physio may appear to have a notification saying other medications are withheld. Okay, so that's part of the process. But Michael has the ability to withhold some medication. And as part of his ongoing care, Michael also has social care input. He's got a self-funded package of care, and his carers are also involved in checking up on him and supporting him, and they can also access the medication that you have. And we, we know, as I know as a GP, many care professionals that are in the community and social workers and social care colleagues are there to support our patients with their medication compliance, so they also have access. So this is our narrative that we've created, and we have challenged the lecturers to put some of their theory against this narrative, but we hope you can see why we want to create this 2020 future. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Amir.